Star Wars 7x7 episode 2117 today, an update on Star Wars Celebration Anaheim. Punch it! Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So let's start off with the you know sort of headline news, which is to say that there is no news exactly. There's been no announcement from Reed Pop about Star Wars Celebration whatsoever. Like there's no, it's happening, it's not happening, we're holding our breath, anything like that. Nothing so far. There has been an official announcement from Reed Pop and Reed Exhibitions, their parent company from time to time, and the most recent one was April 14th, and it says that they're actively and continuously monitoring the COVID-19 virus outbreak, and later on they say, currently no federal restrictions are in place to prevent conferences, conventions, trade shows, exhibitions, and travel within the United States. So the key word in that statement is federal because it's taking place in California. We got to look to the California situation. And right now the stay at home order has been extended in California through May 15th. But that's not the only thing that has been happening in terms of events. In fact, just this past week, there was a huge announcement. And this one I feel like is a bit of a bellwether for a celebration. San Diego Comic-Con made the official announcement that they will not go on. The show will not go on in July of 2020. They are preparing for the next event, which will be in July of 2021. They are going to be refunding badge holders. That process is in progress and they're asking for people to be patient with it. And people who have made reservations with their their partner on peak for hotels and whatnot are also going to be refunded despite the fact that there are no refunds, no cancellation policies in place and whatnot, but everybody's going to get refunded according to that. They're just saying, hey, you know, give us some time to sort it out, but you have a choice with um, with your actual event pass to be refunded or to transfer it to the 2021 event. Another thing that I've been keeping an eye on has to do with the parks side of Disney, right? Particularly Disneyland, because if Disneyland opens, then I think it's a fair bet that they'll have Star Wars Celebration. But at this point, they still haven't opened the parks and workers have been furloughed, actually, which means that for all intents and purposes, they still have jobs. They're just not being paid right now. They still have benefits, which is awesome, but they're not actually being paid, which, you know, is not awesome. But so far, there's no word on when the parks are going to be reopening. And so that does cast some doubt about the status of Star Wars Celebration. I have seen some conversation around the fact that the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, has said it's hard to envision big events in big arenas like concerts and sporting events taking place until 2021 just based on what he's seeing right now and so that doesn't necessarily bode well but as much as Anaheim would like you to think that they are part of Los Angeles if you're a baseball fan and you are familiar with the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim which is neither in the city of Los Angeles or in the county of Los Angeles it's actually in Orange County Ridiculous. I digress slightly. The fact that Star Wars Celebration is not taking place in either Los Angeles City or Los Angeles County doesn't necessarily mean that what Eric Garcetti is saying has anything to do with it. But, you know, it's still the you know, overall major metropolitan area. And so, yeah, the fact that San Diego Comic-Con was canceled, I personally think that kind of is starting to tip the scales toward celebration not happening, at least not happening in August. But I will say that Star Wars Celebration, according to you know everything that they're doing right now, they are moving forward as though the event is still happening. They haven't been active on social media. In fact, their Twitter account hasn't been updated since February 6th. But 
They are still taking applications for, you know, various things that happen. The podcast stage applications closed on Friday. The crew applications, that says that it's coming soon. The, you know, fan presentations application situation says that they're going to be letting people know by May 1st. They are taking press applications right now, and the deadline for submitting to those is May 15th. So they are moving forward as though it's going to happen, or, you know, perhaps maybe a better way to characterize it is that they are moving forward with the hope that it will happen, but... It's hard to say at this point for sure. They haven't announced any of the activities that are going to be happening. They have announced, you know, a celebration stage and a galaxy stage and, you know, all the stages. And we talked about that in a previous update about celebration, but they haven't actually announced any programming for it yet. But just to, you know, thinking back on the last few minutes, clarify something really quick. When the statement from Reed Exhibitions talks about them complying with federal guidelines, and that's all that they say. I don't want you to get the idea that I'm thinking that they are going to, you know, put on an event come hell or high water. In fact, they run Emerald City Comic Con, and that was put off because of the coronavirus situation. So, obviously, they are going to make the right decision and they're going to make the decisions based on what's happening in the particular locality where an event is taking place. I am, you know, still hopeful about Celebration, but the last time we talked about this on the show was with the March patron Q&A, and I said that I was probably about 50-50 with the cancellation to San Diego Comic-Con, I have to say I'm starting to be a little less hopeful about it. <laughs> We've been talking about the spectrum of hopefulness and hopelessness in previous episodes recently. And uh, I wish it was the case that I felt a little more hopeful about it. But right now, it, yeah, yeah, it doesn't necessarily feel like it. Especially when you consider the fact that you know, stay-at-home orders in California are great for California, but with Star Wars Celebration, people are going to be coming from around the country and around the world, and the variables that introduces, yeah, ugh, um, I'm not, not feeling as good about it as I was the last time that we did this update. But if you're more hopeful about it and you have reasons why you think it's more likely than not that Celebration is actually going to happen in August, then I'd love to hear from you. So, Chime in wherever you happen to catch the episode. If there's no comments there, home base at SW7x7.com for this episode. That would be great. I'd love to hear from you. And that is going to do it for our update on Star Wars Celebration Anaheim. And that's going to do it for this episode of the show as well. Thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. And may the curve be flattening for you, wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.